there are potentially thousands, tens of thousands of commands available in PowerShell, and half the battle is finding the command for the job. Rather than writing a tool from scratch, if there's already a command that does what you want, then you need to find it. And thankfully, PowerShell gives us a lot of ways to do that, starting with help itself. Help supports wildcards. If I say I want to find help on managing users, so star user star, if there is not a single command that has that in the name, but multiple commands, help will display all of those commands. Rather than showing me the help for every single command, it gives me a list of the commands that have user in the name. And we get back here, uh, a list that scrolls right off the page. There are so many of them. All right. But help is really designed to give me help on a specific command or the about files. So that's why we have get command, which is a little more flexible when it comes to finding out information about specific commands. So I run get command or the alias GCM. And then I can use wildcards with get command. Not only does it return PowerShell commands to me though, it returns aliases of PowerShell commands, functions. It also returns executables that it finds on the hard drive. You can see down there at the bottom, there were some commands in Windows that it came across as well. It's more comprehensive, git command is, plus it supports additional features like modules. Maybe I'm only interested in the commands that are in the Active Directory module. I don't want all these other things, so show me those commands that are only in the Active Directory module. I hit enter, and it's a much more manageable list. We're down from dozens and dozens of commands, or thousands of commands if I'm searching everything, down to five commands that look like they're promising. We can narrow it down even further by command type, commandlet, function, alias, but the, the most useful aspect is using the wildcards and also narrowing it down by module name. Some commands are gonna be helpful that are not yet installed on your system. So how would I get to those? Well, I could use find command. Now find command is reaching out by default to the PowerShell gallery, which means you're gonna need internet access. The PowerShell gallery uses NuGet as its package manager. And so if you've never installed NuGet, when you use something like find command, it's going to give you a pop-up saying you need to install NuGet. I'm just gonna run, hit enter here and run find command. And this is gonna show me all of the commands that are out there on the PowerShell gallery, which is a lot. You would war normally what you'd wanna do is some filtering. You don't want a list of every single possible command. You can apply filters. We can apply tags. If the people who are posting these commands are using tags on their modules and on their commands, I can put in tag something like NTFS to say, show me only those commands that have an NTFS tag on them or something like perm or permission if I'm looking for permissions, tools to work with permissions. If I find a command that looks promising, then I'm gonna to wanna to take note of the module and, and I can install it using install module, which will be a topic coming up. The other way that we might get additional details about our commands is through the show command command, which was introduced in 2000 or in uh, PowerShell 3. Show command, if I just run it all by itself, it's going to pop up an interactive dialog box, the same dialog that appears in the integrated script editor. It's just taking a second to launch here. There we go. In here, I can do sort of a graphical search for commands. I can browse through them, selecting commands. If I start to type a command like user, it'll begin to filter it for me. There's get AD user. I select it and it shows me the syntax, the three syntax blocks. If I were to check the help on get AD user, I'd see three independent parameter sections, three syntax blocks. And that's what I get here represented as tabs. Anything with an asterisk means that it's mandatory. This just provides then an interactive way 
to work with the command. If I know the command that I'm after, I can also use show command and then the name of the command, say get hotfix. And it'll just take me into the graphical show command window for that particular command. And finally, we can also use aliases. Aliases are going to be the nicknames that we use, that uh, we're, we're in the habit of using, like CLS to clear the screen instead of clear host, or cat to read a file instead of type, or instead of get content, which is the actual name. If I want more help, I can ask for help on an alias, help cat, and it shows me the get content, get content help. If I want to run git command, and then the name of an alias, it'll show me that this is an alias for git content. So we can use aliases in place of the full name of a command in the help, and when we're searching for files, we're searching for commands themselves.